Seafront Village. Or the Village of Seafront. One of the two. We'll have much luck plundering about blindly for a shaman fish. What should we do? I don't even know what one looks like, so if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Perhaps we could try asking some of the townspeople for advice. Works for me. Heck, we might even find a place that sells them. Having a pink lure fish? That seems like it might be rare. This town's better off than most, you know. We have our trading partners to thank for it. Okay. I promised my brother I'd come visit, but now he won't leave the house. Says his fingers are turning black or some such nonsense. No. Shh! I'm playing hide and seek. I wish they'd hurry up and find me already. You're, you're standing in the middle of a street. A shaman fish? I think they used to sell those at the fish shop. But hey, since you're here, how about some fresh fruits and veggies for the road? Yes. Uh... Oil fern. I could buy these, but I don't really want to spend that, so I'll see if I can get them naturally. Thanks for your business. You're friends with that sexy postman, aren't you? I just love a man in uniform. Oh, you're not? Well, you're pretty nice looking yourself. I haven't seen the postman in a few days. I hope he's alright. Okay. Ha! This is getting us nowhere. Yeah. In that case, I shall locate an expert in the field. Wait, you can do that? Nothing is beyond the ability of Grimoire Vice. Then why didn't you suggest that in the first place? You humans are always asking for help rather than thinking for yourselves. It really is a loathsome habit. No. Oh. You wish to search by yourself. Well, how very commendable of you. I would much rather search myself. Watch yourself around that old lady in the lighthouse. She's nothing but trouble to everyone who crosses her path. Well, fuck you two. It's funny how people won't bat an eye about paying more just because it's imported. A shaman fish? Beats me. Maybe try to fish shop. Hey, but since you're here, why don't you buy something? I will absolutely take a look. Maps are a man's best friend. And that's it. Hope to see you again! Ugh, don't scare me like that! Okay. Hmm, should I really make fish for dinner again? Folks say the metal bridge offshore used to carry large iron boxes filled with people and cargo. Personally, I think that's a bunch of bull plop. As long as you have a rod and bait, you can go fishing anywhere you like along the coastline. If you like fish, this place is paradise. You eat nothing but the freshest catch of the day. A shaman fish? I haven't gotten any fish in today yet. Sorry, dear. We've got precious materials from exact. Uh, 
No. See you later. Probably won't. Cute in the sun. What a good boy. I'm hungry for blowfish, so I brought as many lugworms as I could carry. That's the only bait those guys seem to like. I didn't catch a thing yesterday, which meant dinner was seaweed wrapped seaweed. I better make a serious haul today, let me tell you. Empty bottle. I can do so much. I can get into Jabu Jabu now. And the Black Pearl. Captain Jack will be here any minute. Eh? Shaman fish? Oh, sure, sure. They're a cinch. Practically jump into the net, they do. But I won't do it for you. So take this pole and go fish one up yourself. Oh, and you can't catch them here at the pier. Go dip your line at the big beach on the west side of town. How do you fish? Is that a serious question? You gotta move your body away from where the fish is going. Got it? Here. Let me give you a lure while I'm at it. Fishing is a test of wills between man and beast. Never give up the fight. Nice. I don't even have to buy one. Awesome. Let's head over to that beach the fisherman mentioned. No. What, this? This is the post office. Oh. I have some mail. My legs still bother the mail. me, so I don't think I can get back to my rounds for a bit. Exactly sure why this exists. Just to get a black pearl? I got one randomly, so are they valuable or something? I mean, I would imagine they're valuable just based on it being a black pearl, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'll move on. The moorings you see offshore were part of a massive bridge in the old days. But now that the science is lost, they're little more than a good fishing spot. Fair enough. What did he have to say? I'd like to become a chef. And when I do, I'm gonna serve something besides fish. I mean, not far from here is where you can get venison, so... That. My gamey, no good but... husband starts drinking at noon or earlier. I wish he would keep it under control. He's got kids to think about. My husband goes to the tavern every day with his work buddies. If he keeps this up, I'm going to cut off his pocket money. Where did that husband of mine wander off to? Uh, the tavern, probably. We're going to do our special ritual. We can't let anyone see us. My brother lives in another town, but we send letters to stay in touch. Isn't the post office great? Well, even in post-apocalyptic times, the postman never stops. He is the true American hero. Or rather, just the hero of everyone. <laughs> Fishing tip number three. When I 
grow up, I'm gonna be a big, strong sailor on a really huge boat. Or a botanist. I can't decide. Why not both? I've got some time before the next fishing voyage, so I'd better rest up. Hey, things could be worse. At least I'm not desperate enough to sign on with one of those wacky cults. Yeah, like the kids have? Apparently they have a ritual gonna be happening soon. Hmm. Yeah, what do you want? Look, this is serious work, not some kind of circus. So get lost. People use small crafts like these to access the best fishing waters, so we have to make sure they're in tip-top shape. Truth be told, these boats are pretty flimsy, so unless you like drowning, I'd stay far away. Oh, I can jump in the water here. Wild. Are you all right, lad? Yeah, I'm okay. You have lost health. You must be more careful. Fishing tip number four. I just like exploring everything. It's pretty fun. My weapons may not be the latest and greatest, but my selection can't be beat. I... Uh, I mean... It is really good damage. But like, hey, I don't have that kind of money, and I don't feel like grinding up that much mutton or whatever just to get it. And honestly, I'm doing fine. Thank you much. I'm, I'm doing fine. I don't need to worry. Oh. Flowering fertilizer. Tulip bulb. Watch yourself around that old lady and before we go fishing for the fish, I uh, kind of want to see what the old lady was up to at the lighthouse. I guess she's waiting for somebody to come home from sea. Uh, the lighthouse was where? there. So I guess I do need to head that direction. When B fish is displayed on the screen, press B to choose your bait and begin fishing. When your rod bends, press B to hook the fish, then tilt the L stick in the direction opposite the fish's current position to reduce its HP. When the fish's HP reaches zero, you automatically land it. Good to know. I'm not doing that yet, but it's good to know.
recovery potion. I don't think I had a recovery potion yet. Oops. Yep, that is my first one. All of the user's HP. That's rad. So it's worth coming down uh, up here if, you know, only just for that. Sadly, the lady wasn't here, though. Unfortunately. Work was exhausting, so I'm taking a little break. This is a great place to come and relax. Fair enough. be watching whatever this is. It's Kaiser Neko. This should be dangerous. Um, no! No! <sighs> okay. I didn't need to know about the new Vegeta figurine apparently deflating his butt. Or whatever. Okay. I bet I can come up with an awesome tongue twister before you can! Correct. We can't have anyone know what our ritual is. All the children are in a cult. Let's play tongue twisters. How are all the children in a cult? The new shaman fish record, 5.51 inches, weight record of 0.37 pounds. We're all set. Let's get this back to Yona. Right. Hmm, give me a second. I'm not a fishing addict, I don't know what you're talking about. smaller. It fought harder, even if it did, you know, lose faster. I guess all I can get right now is shaman fish. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, the White House Lady. How are you doing? Oh, oh okay. Hold it! Huh? I said hold it! Over here! I tried to talk to you. How can you just ignore an old woman in need? I weep for this generation. The children of this age are nothing but selfish, heartless cads. Uh, are you talking about me? Oh, ignore her. We've a quest to complete. People like that are best left to their own devices. Oh! 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 What's wrong? 
is my illness has returned. Rude? Book! Now see here, madam. I'll have you know. You! You did this! Oh, what a terrible thing you are! Why, you insolent crone! How dare you address me like some common paperback! Vice, knock it off! You there! Would you truly abandon a pitiful old woman to this cruel world? Listen, I tried to talk to you. I even went up to the, like, lighthouse to see if you were home and everything. And now you're just being mean. Are you asking me? Oh, do please ask me. <sighs> yeah, sure. How can we help you, ma'am? Oh, good heavens. I can't believe how much cajoling that took. Our apologies, ma'am. I am at a loss as to what aid we could possibly give a woman who is so clearly able to talk her way into anything. I need you to go to the post office and tell them to deliver my mail. I can't fathom why they haven't been here yet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, we're going. <sighs> Alright, well, now we're going to see what's up with the post office at least. Apparently he hurt his leg or something? I don't know. Afternoon. Hey, so there's some old lady who yelled at us to come here and check on her mail and... Oh, you mean the lighthouse lady? The very same. Now could you please deliver her parcels and silence her flapping gums? Sorry, but I injured my leg. I won't be delivering anything for a while. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe we can- A hurt leg? What about your sacred postman's oath? Neither wind nor sleet nor terrible monsters of the night shall keep thee from- Hey, if your leg hurts, we'll just deliver it for you. Uh, oh, that would be a huge help. Uh, just be careful, alright? That lady has a bit of a temper. You don't say. Okay, I obtained a letter for the old woman. You know, since you're here... Oh, what is it now? You're from Popola's village, right? Yeah. How do you know? Huh? Well, you're dressed differently, and you just have a certain air about you, I guess. Anyway, would you mind taking this letter to Popola when you go back? Sure. Uh, we might as well take the postman's oath ourselves. I mean, you know... I'm not saying I wouldn't, I'm just saying that I would. <laughs> um, I don't remember where it was, <laughs> to be honest. Documents? Yeah, okay. A love? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, wasn't this like a hundred years ago? Yeah, it said it was like 1,412 years later, and the original time said it was like 2053. So it should be like 2465. It was 126 years ago! What the hell was wrong with this postman? That was so late! <laughs> uh, I write to you regarding the urgent matter of the airy. As you know, shade activity in the area has been increased as of late, and... We now fear for the worst. Numerous letters to the village chief have yet to be returned, and our merchants have recently lost all contact with customers there. While Seafront is yet to be troubled by the Shades, we fear their arrival is only a matter of time. I encourage your village to take all necessary steps to defend yourself from this terrible scourge. The loss of two outposts would be almost too much to bear. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay. Please forgive me the lateness of this letter. I've recently fallen quite ill and had some difficulty finding a doctor in this foreign land. The people here, however, have treated me with great kindness, and now I feel my body gain stronger by the day. If my recovery continues, I hope to attempt the journey home soon. I didn't mean to hit that. I think about you every day and yearn for the moment where you can be together again. Please take care of yourself and know I'm doing everything I can to return to you. Would I be able to do the... I mean, 
I'm mean, able to walk straight through at this point, so if there's, like, you know, more loot to get, I want to get it. Nope. Unfortunate. sure I would if she were here. They call her the Lighthouse Lady, right? Well, let's go check the Lighthouse. I mean, I've been there once. Absurd waste of time this is. There she is. Um, oh, you. What do you want? We have retrieved your letter. The postman hurt his leg. That's why he... That's no excuse. It's his job to deliver the mail, no matter what. Didn't he take the postman's oath? The thought that anyone would actually bother to write you a letter staggers the imagination. Such a rude book. I'll have you know this is from someone very dear to me. Well, I suppose I should give you something for your trouble. Thousand gold. Nice. Goodbye, and I hope to never have to speak to you again. I was actually interested in helping, and you were rude. We need to get the shaman fish to Yona. Unfortunate. I guess that would have let me skip that entire conversation. seem to be a huge amount to do here currently, maybe later. 